Hello guys, welcome back to another video of integration. So in this video, we'll talk about integration of trigonometric function. But before anything else, let's have a quick recap on some of the trigonometric identities. So this will be um, very helpful in solving or in, in integrating trigonometric functions. So Okay, these are some of the important trigonometric identities. I am pretty sure that you have encountered this in your trigonometric class. So, we have sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, second theta, and cotangent theta. Okay, then we have also um, Pythagorean identities. When we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. 1 plus tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta. 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. So these are um, important trigonometric identities that we may encounter here in integration. Okay, so again, you have to make yourself familiar with all these trigonometric identities. In integrating trigonometric functions, so we have to familiarize ourselves with this integration rule. Now, if we want to integrate sine u du, okay, so that is equal to negative cosine u plus c. Okay, since from your differential calculus, if you want to differentiate cosine u, then the derivative is negative sine u du. Then the integration of cosine u du, that is sine u plus c. The integration of tan u du, that is equal to the natural logarithm of the absolute value of second u plus c. Or that could be equal to negative, the natural logarithm of cosine u plus c. Then the integration of cotangent u du, that equals to the natural logarithm of sine u plus c. Then, the, the derivative of the, the integration of second u du is equal to the natural logarithm of second u plus tangent u plus c. Now, the integration of cos second u du, that is equals to the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the difference of cos second u and the cotangent u, then plus the arbitrary constant c. The integration of second u tangent u du, that equals to second u plus c, the integration of cos second u cotangent u du, and that equals to negative cos second u plus c, the integration of second squared u du, that equals to tangent u plus c, then the integration of cos second squared u du, and that equals to negative cotangent u plus c. So these are um, the rules no, in integrating trigonometric functions. So again, you have to memorize all this rule okay so let's try to solve problem now we have the integration of sine 2x dx so we know that the integration of sine u du okay is equal to negative cosine u plus c okay now in this case our u is the angle, okay, the angle of sine. So in that case, our angle is 2x. So therefore, this one here is our u, correct? Now, if that is our u, u is 2x, then our du should be what? 2dx, correct? So therefore, in order to... To use this rule in integrating sine function, then we also have to satisfy the value of du here. Okay. Now in that case, our du is only dx. Okay. Our du here is only dx. So therefore, since we need two dx, our du, then again we need to multiply, or we need to introduce a multiplier. So we have integration of sine to x dx. Again, this one is our u. So to satisfy the du, then we need to multiply 2, correct? However, since we introduce a, a 
constant 2 to balance the equation, then we need to come up with another constant, a reciprocal to this multiplier. So we multiply the reciprocal of 2, that is 1 half. Again, why we need to get our, or to introduce a reciprocal of the number? Since we know that 1 half times 2 is equal to 1, correct? 1 half times 2 is equal to 1. So, since um, that is equal to 1, so as if we are not doing anything in the equation. So, the equation has not changed. So, this is now our u. And this one now is our du. So, we have satisfied this form. Okay. So, therefore, we have our answer that is equal to negative cosine u. However, we have one half outside of the integrand. So, therefore, we copy one half there. One half, the negative cosine of our u. Our u is sine 2x. Diba? Our u is 2x. So, therefore, that is 2x plus c. So, therefore, your final answer is equal to negative cosine 2x over 2 plus c. So, this is now your final answer. Okay? So, we have example number 2. We have cosine 5x dx. Okay? So, we can use the rule the integration of cosine u du is equal to sine u plus c. Correct? Now, our u here is 5x. Then, our du there is 5dx, the, 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 deri the derivative of 5x. Okay? Since we, we don't have 5 in the integrand, so we introduce a multiplier. That is cosine 5x dx. Then we multiplied 5 inside the integration and 1 fifth outside the integration. So therefore, we can now use... So therefore, this is now our du and this one is our u. So we can now use this rule and that equals to sine... What is our u? u is 5x. Now, take note, we have one-fifth outside of the integri integral, so we multiplied one-fifth, so that is over 5 plus c. So, this is now your answer, or that is the integration of 5x dx. Now, we have third example, we have the integration of tangent 2 over pi x dx. Now, in this case, we can use the integration rule. The integration of tangent u du is equal to the natural logarithm of secant u plus c. Okay? Now, our u in this case is equal to 2 over pi x. So, this one is our u. So therefore, our du is the derivative of our u, that is just 2 over pi dx. Now, take note, we are lacking of 2 over pi in the equation, since we only have dx in the integrand. So we multiply 2 over pi inside the equation. So that is um, integration of tangent of 2 over pi x dx. Then we'll multiply here 2 over pi. Then outside of the equation, we multiply the reciprocal that is pi over 2. Okay? Just the reverse of the number. So in that case, we can now use this integration rule since this is now our u and this one now is our du. So therefore, our answer here is equal to the natural logarithm of second now our u there is 2 over pi x now take note we have pi over 2 outside of our integration so do not forget pi over 2 as the coefficient then we have plus c so this is now your final 
answer. Now we have example number four. We have the integration of cotangent pi over two x dx, and we know that the integration or that the rule that we can apply into this type of function is the integration, the integration of cotangent u du is equal to the natural logarithm of sine u plus c. Okay, but we have to satisfy first our equation or our function. So we have our u here that equals 2. This one is our u. Okay, it's the angle which is equal to pi over 2x. So therefore, our derivative is pi over 2 dx. However, in the integrand, we are lacking of pi over 2 since we only have dx. So what we're going to do here is we need to introduce a multiplier. So our multiplier in this case is pi over 2. So we have cotangent pi over 2x dx, then we multiply pi over 2, then outside of the integration, we multiply the reciprocal of the multiplier, okay, to balance the equation, or that is equal to 2 over pi. So now we can, apparently we can say that we have already satisfied this rule, where in this one, this angle here, this our u, and this one is our derivative of u. So this one here, pi over 2 dx. So we can now use this form that is equal to, so we rewrite 2 over pi here, that is 2 over pi, then the natural logarithm of sine, then our u here is pi over 2x, that is pi over 2x, the absolute value plus c. So this is now the integration of cotangent pi over 2x dx. Okay, we have example number 5. Okay, example number 5, we have the integration of cosecant squared pi over 2x dx. So from here, we can use the trigonometric rule that is the integration of cosecant squared u du is equal to negative cotangent u plus c. Okay? So our u in this case is pi over 2x. This one. This is our u. So our du must be pi over 2 dx, the derivative of pi over 2x. However, again, the same with the previous example, we are lacking of pi over 2 here. So we multiply pi over 2 inside the integration and the reciprocal outside of the integration. That is the integration of cosecant squared pi over 2x dx. Then we multiply pi over 2 here outside of the integration 2 over pi. So we can now, uh, we have already satisfied the, the formula or the form where in this one, our u, and this one is our du. So in that case, we have 2 over pi, copy the constant, then we have times negative cotangent. Our u there is pi over 2x, pi over 2x plus c. Or we can say that it's equal to 2, negative 2, cotangent, pi over 2x, all over pi plus c. So this is now our uh, final answer, or the integration of cosecant squared, pi over 2x, dx. We have number 6, we have um, the integration of second pi over 2x, tangent pi over 2x, dx. Now, in this case, um, we have um, integration rule that would apply or that could be used in this type of trigonometric function. That is the integration of second u 
tangent u du is equal to second u plus c. Since if you remember in your differential calculus, if you differentiate um, second u, so the result would be second u tangent u. Okay, so better review your differential calculus. So in this case, our u is pi over 2, correct? Pi over 2x. Now, our du should be pi over 2 dx. However, again, we are lacking of pi over 2. But if our equation has already pi over 2, so we do not need to have a multiplier. Magkakaroon lang tayo ng multiplier if kulang ang du. But if in the case again na may pi over 2 na tayo sa loob ng ating integration, so we do not need to have a multiplier. And we do not have, of course, to have a reciprocal multiplier outside of the equation. So again, magkakaroon lang tayo ng multiplier if kulang si du. So in this case, this one is our u, our du. Then our du here is only dx. So we have to get or we have to have a multiplier. So our multiplier is pi over 2. So we have to write the equation that is second. Pi over 2x tangent of pi over 2x dx. So we have a multiplier pi over 2. And outside of the integration, we get the reciprocal that is 2 over pi. So this is our u, our u, and this one is our du. So from this um, rule, okay? So we can now use this form, which is second u plus c, since we have second u, tangent u, and du. So we can say that our uh, the integration of this one of is equal to, that is 2 over pi, the outside coefficient, then second, our u that is pi over 2 x plus c. So this is now your final answer or the integration of second pi over 2x tangent pi over 2x dx.